Hey everybody, it's Chaos, and I am ready for ah, more Tales of Fantasia, maybe. But let me shrink this other window a little bit. Ah, darn it. I should have done this off screen. You know what? For... Ah! Alright. I only wasted about 30 seconds. It's not, it's still watchable. Let's go meet this Edward guy. Let me pause this for a minute. Alright, I'm, I'm back. I, I think I've got crud under control. I should hope. Or I shall. Damn it. I guess I don't. Yeah, that, that's still not. Oh well, how do I? Edward! Uh, he went back to Olive. Duh! Fine. The good news is, it does it automatically. Let's ask that guy again. Hey, you. Jerkwad! You seen Edward? Oh, that's loud. And he went to the end. Wow. Darn it. I can't find a happy medium. Edward! Ed! No, you're not in the inn. Okay, so I thought that guy said he was in the inn. Um, oops. Oh well, we'll find him. He's here somewhere. I'll just hunt him down. No, no, Edward here. Hey, you, Mr. Chef. Do we have your recipe? Yes, we do. Edward, we have your basilisk scales. Yes, it's hot. I am not in here. Item. Ooh, 2600 gold. Not bad. Not great in the grand scheme of things. Nobody here. Nobody important. We got a spiky head guy, but you know. He's not important. He's not Edward. Not even the weapon shop. Oh, give me a sec. Where the heck is this guy? Why is he not showing up? Invisible will tell you he went to the inn. Inside, talk to the ah. We have to talk to. The, we actually have to talk to the guy at the inn, and he'll tell us. Oh yeah, he's here. And then he'll magically appear as if from out of thin air. More RPG physics for you. Hey you, where's Edward? Oh, he better have. Oh, well, we've got some of those. Yep, probably. How do you know? Uh, um, um, because this box appeared at the bottom and told us that they uh, healed stuff. Not nah, fourth wall breaking. No, actually, that's not. What's about Mint, we've been killing them all day. Actually, we haven't. I, I only did fight five of them. And... Yeah. I should have started recording earlier, but I didn't. Yes, we have basilisk scales. Oh, and we get a free night at the inn. Um, goody. Now you, go hunt Edward for us, because we're done hunting him. Ah, Edward's back. Yo, Eddie, where are ya? I need to speak with... Oh! You look familiar. Different colored clothes, but familiar. You're the ones. Why wouldn't you give me those precious basilisk scales? You must be Edward. Actually, <laughs> I recognize him. Morrison? Oh, yeah. Remember the opening sequence? Edward D. Morrison? Blammo! Why do we act so surprised? Uh, because we know you're, uh, oh, let's see, grandson, great-grandson, probably. What's wrong with you guys? Uh, you know, future stuff. You know, time travel, you know, DeLoreans and such. Edward, please read this letter. An introduction from Grom, <laughs> Lundgrom, Gromy. Yeah. 
Oh, there is a good reason for us tracking you down. Yep, yeah, it probably is a good idea. I mean, we don't want people finding out that we're trying to kill Deos. That, that would be bad. He's got minions all over. He's that kind of guy. Yep, we're the ones who saved Laird. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, crap happens. <laughs> he thinks it's funny. Uh, not really. I mean, we're in jail. But, okay. So what should we do? You know, a faster solution than trying to find another... Oh, what's that? Uh, yes, that's what we're trying to do. That's not good. No, that's a problem. Yes, what are we to do? Go to Ymir. No, Ymir. There must be a way to repair it. Well, that's what we were trying to do. The elf colony. Yep, we have to go see the elves. Those snubby, snubby little elves. There's no way they'd let us in. I indeed. Those snobby snobs that cause so much trouble in the Tales series. The ones I've played, anyway. Uh, maybe. Or maybe we'll just have to find a way of over overwhelming them. Ha ha. Da ha ha. Always grateful for the Basilisk scales, at least. So you're heading to Midgards. Okay, well, we'll see you there. Oh, don't worry about it. We'll be there. We're coming. We, we want to kill Deos. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. We didn't tell him that we'd be fine. Oh, well. Ah, oh, there we go. But that's what Cress is going to do. Maybe. Morrison! What now? Please, take a look at this book. I'm sure it'll be useful. It's quite old, isn't it? Hmm. Th this is my writing. And and my signature. Trinica D. Morrison. It's the name of the man who entrusted it to me. He was a Morrison. One of your descendants. You see, I'm from the future. Time travel. Oh. I see. <laughs> Surely you jest. After all, I'm still merely researching the matter. Or maybe your work bears fruit, and the future your descendant. <laughs> Even if what you say is true, it's not something I wish to hear. Yep, he gets the whole paradox mess. He, he understands DeLoreans, and paradoxes and messes. And Arch, we're just telling Arch now. I, I would think it would have come up in conversation. Hey, we're from the future. Oh, yes, you are a hundred-year-old granny. <laughs> and Klaus just realized how old he is. <laughs> He's like, oh, crap, and I'm some... Oh, jeez. And I'm some decrepit corpse in the ground somewhere. Oh, not really. Uh, only some of it. Well, you know, if we're here to help you and we're trying to kill Deos, chances are Deos didn't win, so, you know, you kind of know that you sort of win. But, it's a, yes, he, he figures out. He's like, you know, I might, I, I don't win, but I don't lose. Yes, wait for us in Midgards, we'll be there. Yep, we will help you then. Ah, we'll find a way. <laughs> Darn straight. Ah, oh, so it's our fault that time travel becomes possible. Well, I guess we saved ourselves then. Yep, we need to go to Lundgrim and get a pass for entering the elf colony. Um... This video is about to come to a close. Thank you for watching. I will see you in Alvinista Castle. Until then. I'm not saying that. I didn't say that. I'll see you next video.